Hey everybody, it's Steph here with uh, Studio Web Killer Sites. Coding at 40 is the topic of today's vlog. Um, I'm shooting this from my place. Uh, got a nice view of the mountain here, so I figured some people might like a different backdrop. Anyhow, so I get this question once in a while, so I figured I'd put it on a video, a quick video. What happens if you're in your late 30s, your early 40s, or even older, and you want to get into coding? Is it worth it? Short answer is yes, because in general, not in general, it's always better to learn new things all the time. It makes sense. It just helps your career, helps your brain. It's just a better overall. But learning to code, I believe, should be something that everybody should learn, whether they be young kids to grandparents. And actually, I've had people in their 80s learn coding from me in the past. So if 80-year-olds can learn how to code, you in your 40s or 50s can learn how to code. Now, uh, coding goes way beyond simple app development in terms of its benefits. You could use coding all kinds of different things. You could use it to develop websites, web apps, mobile apps for iOS, iPad, Android, any type of thing. But you could also use it to do things like automating uh, Google Docs, so whether it be automating spreadsheet functionality or Word functionality, that's an option for you as well. So even if you don't intend to become a coder, if you're a professional, if you're going to become an accountant or you're a, a lawyer and so forth, you might be out. You you might find coding very valuable for you in terms of just automating common office tasks. So that's kind of cool. There's a lot of power in learning to code that goes way beyond your typical careers. So maybe you might be somebody who's looking at retirement and you're looking at some sort of hobby. Believe it or not, coding could be a lot of fun in terms of a hobby. Give you some something to occupy your mind, something to strengthen the brain cells, if you will. Uh, also, it might give you opportunity to pick up some freelance work here and there, helping uh, accounting firm automate their spreadsheets, uh, maybe build their website, helping uh, you know any type of small business do different things. It's there for you. Now, if you're in your late thirties or forties and you're looking for a career in coding, as a freelancer, it's not a problem. Or, you know, once you learn how to code, and we talked, I've talked about this in other videos, you can get into a whole bunch of other um, avenues in terms of careers, whether you, you're freelancing, whether you go work for a small company or a medium-sized company, or even a big company. As I've mentioned, I think I mentioned in another video, a lot of times when people are looking at coders, they're looking to see what other skills they may have. So if you are... Let's say you're a lawyer retiring or uh, somebody who's got a trained biologist and uh, you learn to code. You, be, you could be very valuable to companies who want to code software for firms that handle deal in biology in some way or another. Because what you're going to have in that situation, you're going to be somebody who has domain knowledge, domain knowledge. So if you have knowledge of biology, you have domain knowledge. You've, if you're... Uh, You've done, you have a law degree, you've studied law for a few years, you have domain knowledge of law, etc., etc., etc. So, coders with good dom domain knowledge are very valuable to uh, firms because that combination is very, 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 very uh, effective in terms of building apps and building solutions. Because the biggest problems that a lot of coders have is that they don't understand the domain that they're coding for. So it's hard for them to, to, to predict what the app should do and how it should work. But if you understand what the professionals in the particular domain you're writing software for, what they're looking for and how they work, then your, your apps will be better as a result of that. So keep that in mind. So yes, coding in your 40s, why not? Um, it may take you, uh, if you're in your 40s or 50s, maybe it'll take you longer than a 20-year-old to learn this stuff, but who cares? Once you get there, whether it takes you a month or two months, big deal, you know, in terms of learning something. It's going to take more than two months to become a professional coder, but uh, nonetheless, if it takes you a little longer because your brain is not as pliable as a 20-year-old, whatever, you just uh, pick it up and it will come, it will come, it will come. One thing older people have is they have patience, and that's uh, a virtue. All right, I hope you found this useful. Ciao, ciao.